Hi, my name's John, amateur radio call sign M7CPT. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing some stuff that I ordered from eBay. Uh, all the links will be in the description below. You'll actually get to see what the packaging's like on the items that have arrived. Uh, there's still some items that are on the way from China, but everything else is here. With that being said, welcome to Amateur Radio on the Air. Incidentally, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoy the unboxing type videos. Um, if you don't enjoy unboxing, please click the thumbs down. It'll give me an idea as to whether or not to do this type of thing in the future. Thank you. Two days after I place the order, we have our first mail call. Just the two items arrived in Royal Mail. Let's see what the little one is first. We've got the sockets. Second item. I think I know what this one is. Based on the address on, that was the re, put down as the return address. So I want to be careful opening this one. They're certainly wrapped too well. Let's just tension sheets. Someone doesn't trust our postman. Yeah. Thank you, ham goodies. Two type forty three. And 431s. There was uh, a four pound something delivery charge on each of these. Because the 43s were placed in a separate order, the computer charged me twice. But because Ham Goodies spotted that there was two orders coming to the same address, they put them both in the same parcel and refunded one of the deliveries as our first two items down 24 hours later three days after ordering mail call this one's easy it's got by the table yep On table gives me something to put the radio on while I'm testing stuff and we've got another big box don't know what this one is let's see what's in this one it's certainly taped up well oh, fragile it's over, it's still in one piece, whatever it is. Apparently it's another box. Oh no, just cardboard. Ah, more tension sheets. A lot more tension sheets. More tension sheets. They've got a lot of tension sheets in here. 
Ah, I was looking forward to this. There we go. One flask. Two cups. I thought there would be. There's always instructions inside a flask. Don't know why. Well, that's handy. It's actually got a shape pouring spout. If you're on, turn it to there. You can actually pour the coffee out without taking the lid off. Incidentally, the lid opens up so you can keep some extra sugars in there. I have to get this cleaned up and get it filled up. Test to see if it will keep it warm for eight hours like it says. I'm due some more deliveries later, so I'll add them in. A few minutes later. Still on day three. Another delivery. This one. Whoever delivered it. Left it outside the door when they knocked and laid off rather quickly. Let's hope the parcel's at least in good condition. I forgot to uh, mention I ordered. Heat shrink. Just keep things nice and tidy. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, looks like one more mail call today. Three mail calls in one day. I've just got to try and figure out how to get into this thing. Something rattled. You take one bag off, you get more bags. Okay, two bags. Still rattling. And it's the boxes. Oh, so it's rattling. Two of the screws weren't put in the boxes. the boxes for the balance should be more but more than big enough grab a core and each box will have two of the cores inside possibly slightly offset Just give me room for all the outer connections that I need. Oh. Of course, if they'll go square, I'll have them square. Two cores, each box. And based on the time, looks like so that, that's it for today. Days later. Okay. Five days after ordering, mail call. Three items come through Royal Mail. Let's see what we got. 
Let's move them out of the way a second. Yeah, the banana plugs. Hello, nice. Engine. This one feels heavy. Okay. They are a lot bigger than I expected. So, they'll do the job. And now, this one was. This would be good if I could figure out where the top was. Oh, yeah. The wire for actually putting on the antenna to experiment with. Nice colour. Okay. There was one more item. This one, like the previous parcel, they left it outside, knocked on the door, and cleared off before I could even open the door. Packaging clearly says fragile. But if I show you, this is either not very well packed, Or it may have been damaged in transit. Let's open it up. I'm not using the scissors on this. I want to do this carefully. I have a tiny tear there. Hopefully that's just the outer carrying bag. Monitor in the uh, outer carrying bag. I'm not too concerned about that. <coughs> Rest of the chair looks okay to me. I'll put it up in a bit and show you what it looks like. As for the rest of the stuff, apparently it's only just left China. So, I'll have a wait for that. I'll let you know when it arrives. Right. Time to test stuff out, I suppose. Chair first. Oh, that helps. No head. A bit more. You know... I'm trying to get to know what Molten feels like looking up at his camera all the time. Let me just sort that. <sighs> oh, as I said, it's a comfy seat. That last thing you'll leave it. A little bit underneath the shoulders, but that's good. Let me just move to the side of it. Cup holder. Let's get a cup. Well, it'll take a small cup. Good job I also got a table. Extensions on. Right, we should be able to get the radio and computer on there quite easily. One other thing to test. Time for coffee. I 
added sugar and milk. It says it can hold seven cups, but I don't put the milk in with the coffee because it took it as a tendency of going off. Let's find out how many coffees we actually get out of this. Needs another turn. I like more sugar than my partner, so my sugar's got to be carried separately. These cups might be shallow, but they hold just as much coffee as a normal mug. Let's see how much coffee I can drink. I'll stick a counter on the screen so you can see how many I'm drinking. How many I actually get out of the flask? Definitely keeps it hot. I need a radio. Ah, this will do. Channel mode. Scanning begin. I need to better area. As for the cup holder, 
McDonald cup. More this size. Sorry about that, battery died. Okay, so I've lost count of how many brews I'm making. Caught them up when I edit the video. Give this one some partner. I need some milk. Cool. I said it was almost empty.
table's going to be good. The chair's definitely comfortable enough. I'll have to count how many cups of coffee I got out of that flask. If there's a little less milk in each one, the milk should be should last long enough with just the one flat one little flask. Sugar's fine. So time to go in and do some editing and see how many cups I drank. Oh yeah. Plus one for the partner. As always, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to click that thumbs up. And if you didn't like the unboxing video, click the thumbs down. Uh, so I know whether or not to do this type of video in the future. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And all that leaves me to say is, catch you on the air.